My name is Deborah Fowler, and today we're going to change a 4-H into a wrangle mode. So first I'm going to bring down a attribute wrangle. And we're going to change this to details only because we only want it to execute once. And we're going to add a parameter. So it's going to be an integer. In order to create that, we need to hit this little button here that looks like a slider, and that creates our parameter right here. Let's change it to 8. Now, we're going to create a loop. And in here, we're going to set up our point. So what we want to do is grab the information that we had in here. I'm just going to grab that, copy it, and paste it in here. And then change this to be our location in Y. But we need to use the counter, which in this case is simply I. And then add my semicolon, set my X and my Y, or sorry, Z to be zero, and then add a point in that position. Okay, if we've done everything correctly, when we visualize this, we'll see points. All right, cool. So now, let's grab our objects, put them over here, and let's add a copy to points node. Can plug in our wrangle and grab, for now, just our box. So you can see we have essentially this. If we didn't have the switching on, we've got 10 iterations. Let's change that to 8 so we can see that they're both the same. And then you can see that these are functionally equivalent. But what if we do want to switch between two things? Well, there's a feature on the copy to points node now that we can use for exactly that. It's called the piece attribute. It doesn't matter what this name is. You could call it Kermit. It's just a attribute that we're using to match. So if we create a, another attribute wrangle, and we're going to add an attribute to each point, let's call it i at Kermit equals, uh, let's do, since we're doing this to match, we'll do mod operation, and that gives the value for Kermit 0101. And then over here, we're going to add an attribute to each one of these as well. And these are going to define our objects that are coming in with an attribute of Kermit. So for this one, I'm going to say 0. And this one is going to have value 1. I'm also going to pack them. And I'm going to merge them together. So normally merge displays both, which it will do. As you can see here, if I made my sphere bigger, it's displaying both. Okay. So what we want to do, though, is not have them both displayed. So what we do is we use that feature in the copy of points to simply create which copy or which object is going to be copied on here. So this now is functionally equivalent. Now to make it completely equivalent, we really need to put a pack node into our for each. And so that you can see that we have now eight pack geos, eight pack geos. So this for each structure functionality is replicated in our copy to points. So in here we go over to our control and we are using exactly the same. Okay, that's a wrangle node.